just leave the waist knot there. We cut it off afterwards and stitch it into the back of the stitching. Right. Okay. And bring it up on the right. So I'm doing it with my right hand. I'm not right-handed. Okay. Okay. So you have the thread coming this way. But do a tiny stitch. So it can be at right angles to the line, or it can be slightly slanting forward. Yeah. Of course, I'm not very good right-handed. So, okay, you've got your stitch, and then your thread goes over and under. Okay, and pull it through. That's all it is. So, again, it was terribly ungainly, because I'm not right-handed. But you're holding your thread down there. So do your stitch underneath, yeah. can be at right angles or slightly slanted. So it goes underneath the thread and then the thread goes underneath the point. So it's, it's, it's up to it's you. It's like a chain stitch but not a complete one. It's twisted, it's like yeah. a twisted chain stitch. Yeah. And it's up to you how close you have them. Oh. Um, so if I leave that in position and I'll get you started, yeah. Okay, because I'm okay, so after we do our